everyone welcome back i have some more dollar tree christmas diys for you guys today if you are new here and you like home decor and diys on a budget make sure to stick around by hitting that subscribe button and ringing the bell for notifications before you leave so you never miss out all right let's get started for this DIY, I'm going to be using one of these floral foam wreaths from Dollar Tree, and I'm going to use some white chalk paint to give this a coat on the front and the back. My wreath form is a little beat up because I used it for a previous project, but it will still work out for this one. Now I'm going to take some of this white sparkly ribbon from Dollar Tree and I am going to cut the ribbon into about two inch pieces. I had some bigger and some smaller pieces. I um, didn't make all the pieces uniform because I didn't measure them out perfectly, but if I had to guess they were about two inches roughly um, and then they were long enough so that that way I could curve both ends together and use a little bit of hot glue to keep those ends together and then that created a little uh, kind of looped there at the top and then I just made a bunch more of these I actually ended up using six packs of the ribbon to make a ton of these so that that way I would have enough to cover my wreath form. Um, so I just went ahead and cut the pieces to the length I needed and then I came back and I um, assembled them together. Once they were all assembled, I could hot glue them down to my wreath form. So you can see I just started here with one and then I would take another one and kind of overlap it and um, just continue on down the wreath overlapping them as I went and getting the inside and the outside of the wreath form as well and working my way all the way around the wreath until the whole thing was covered and it's a little bit hard to tell but it looks really sparkly um, when you get up close so it gives it kind of like a little bit of an icicle snow effect with the ribbon on here like this um, I did not have quite white enough to go all the way around the wreath form so it left a little gap but that was okay because it was small enough that I could use some of this Dollar Tree burlap pink ribbon to wrap around that gap there and that's gonna be a perfect spot where I can place a bow so I just cut a piece off and use a little bit of hot glue to wrap it around there um, and then trimmed it up now I'm going to go ahead and make my bow and to do that I just um, cut a piece of the ribbon and then I'm going to take the end of one side and cross it over and then I'm going to take the other end of the other side and cross that over the end that I just crossed um, so that they meet there in the middle. Um, and then I just took a little bit of twine to tie the middle off there to give me my bow shape. And then when you flip it over, it looks more like a bow. So one side, the tails will be kind of funky on the back side, but then on the front side, it will look like a bow. And then I hot glued it down to that ribbon. I did add a little peppermint um, where that uh, twine is so you'll see that at the end of the video um, and then I'm gonna use this little scene from Dollar Tree I just used the tree scene out of it and I taped it up uh, so that that way I could paint each tree a different color I painted one pink one gold and one blue um, you definitely can use whatever colors you like you can um, use traditional colors you can paint the trees traditional colors use traditional traditional colors for the bow it's up to you I just love this uh, pink and gold and this pastel -y Christmas I think it's so pretty um, you can see I painted the snow at the bottom white and then once it was all dry I flipped my wreath over and then I just added a little bit of hot glue to the back of the snow part and I hot glued it to my wreath and that was it for this cute little wreath it's definitely so pretty for Christmas and I love the colors for this one
For this next DIY, I used one of these wooden long signs from Dollar Tree and I took the hanger off and then I'm gonna use some of that pink spray paint. I was having a little bit of an issue with it spraying there for a second. Um, but I used a little bit of that pink spray paint and spray painted the whole thing and let it dry. And then I took these peppermints from Dollar Tree and unwrapped each one of them and made a frame for around my board. And I used a little bit of hot glue to secure them down. I would definitely recommend maybe E6000 to give it a stronger hold and also use a little bit of shellac for the peppermints so that way they stay nice. And then I used my Cricut to print out Candy Cane Lane. I will leave that linked down below and it's turned out really cute. For this next DIY, I'm going to be using two packs of these LED lights from Dollar Tree. They're battery operated. I actually could have used another pack of these for this DIY, but I only had two on hand when I thought of this and I wasn't about to run back out to Dollar Tree to get one pack of lights. So I made this work um, and I actually needed uh, them to have white wires so that way they would blend into this project a little bit better. So I ended up taping off of uh, all of the bulbs um, with some painters tape uh, and then I am going to take some white spray paint and I am just going to simply spray paint the wires with that white spray paint um, and when you tape the bulbs off you can actually pull the bulbs off and you'll just be left with the little white lights um, and that would be easier to tape. I just didn't think about that until I was done taping all the lights off. But once the wires were all painted, I went ahead and removed the painter's tape from all of the bulbs. And now I'm going to go ahead and use one of these white Christmas trees from Dollar Tree. I just took it out of the box. I didn't use the stand and I'm just going to fluff the branches out. Um, and this DIY reminds me of the vintage ceramic um, Christmas trees with the lights on them. So that's kind of what I was going for here. So I took these lights and I hot glued um, the bulbs to the bottom of all of the branches um, just so the bulbs were kind of just sticking out like those ceramic trees. Um, and like I said, I would have benefited from one more box because I couldn't cover all of the branches with two boxes, but it still worked out. Once I got all of the lights on the tree, I needed something to put my tree in. I needed a base. So I had one of these buckets from Dollar Tree, but I didn't like the galvanized look with the tree. So I taped up the twine around the top and then I used some metallic gold spray paint to spray paint the bucket and the inside of the bucket um, and then I placed my tree inside along with the battery packs and I hot glued it in there um, but then I decided I didn't like the twine and I needed a color on there so I used some teal chalk paint to paint that twine and I love the vintage vibe this tree gives. For this DIY, I'm going to use one of these plastic cloches from Dollar Tree. I just removed the sticker from the front and I am going to go ahead and paint the base of this cloche with some of that teal chalk paints because it goes with the theme of this video. Um, but choose whatever color you would like and whatever goes with the theme of your decor. I painted two coats on there and now I'm going to use these battery operated fairy lights um, and I am going to just kind of manipulate them to go around the bottom of the vase there and they're easy to manipulate because they are wired and I'm just going to use a little bit of hot glue to secure them down and then I just uh, hot glued the battery pack to the underneath of this base and I did use a little bit of hot glue to fill that hole in the center of this base also. Um, then I'm going to use some of these gold trees from Dollar Tree and hot glue them down to the base and then to cover up the lights I'm going to use some sugar because I couldn't find fake snow and that was it.
for this last DIY, I used these styrofoam balls from Dollar Tree. They come four in a pack. They are the smaller size. And I also used some of these spice drops from Dollar Tree as well. I took one of the styrofoam balls and I just placed some hot glue on there. And then I started hot gluing the spice drops on to the styrofoam ball. I started off by gluing them all around the middle like so. And then I was able to fill in each side of the ball um, and that way it gave me a little bit more of a uniform look um, once I filled in one side and I flipped it over to the other side um, and then I needed to create a little hanger for these so I went ahead and used some white ribbon that I had and just cut a piece off I used my scissors to make an initial hole inside the styrofoam at the top there and then I filled that hole with a bunch of hot glue and then I use my scissors again to push the bottoms of the ribbon into that hole there and that created my hanger once that was done I was able to go ahead and fill the other side with the uh, spice drops all the way around there and I did end up using three bags of these spice drops for all four of these spice drop ornaments and I think they turned out so cute for Christmas. Thank you guys so much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you made it all the way to the end of the video. Leave me a candy emoji down below in the description box and I will see you guys in the next one. Happy holidays. Bye-bye.